months and months in music, I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called Geronimo. <laughs> um, and you will hear these cool little bass licks, and we'll talk about some easy ways to do it, and then we'll talk about uh, where, where you'd really want to go with the strumming, which is a lot of energy in this and, and some crazy cool strum patterns to talk about. Well, you will hear this cool little bass line kind of happen on the intro where you could go second fret on the low E string. That's kind of a hammer on a third fret. So I'm playing the second fret, letting my second finger kind of carry the sound of third fret. And then we kind of do that again. And then we go back to second on the low. So you may want to kind of even follow that line. Two, three, two, three, two, two, three, two, three, two, three, two. And that looks kind of happening around a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger goes to the A on the second fret. The second finger on the low E third fret, the third finger on the high E third fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also dig on putting the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, and kind of working that for your G major. And you may want to kind of think about working that hammer on with the second and the first finger actually around the chord. Kind of work a couple different rhythms actually through the tune. You could work just kind of a down count idea, kind of G two three four five six seven eight. So I'm kind of doing an eight down count and a little bit of right hand muting to that. Or you could use a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a four four like this is down down up up down up. So you took the G and just tried that a lot. You'd have down down. down. strumming actually two, three. It's weird. Down, hammer on, down, up, up, and then down. Yeah, that's the weird part is your, your second hammer on happens on the other part. So you got down, hammer on, down, up, the hammer on. sounds like in the recording is a really fast 16th note strum pattern so if you want to work on that that this could be very very hit and what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down down up up down up. one two one two one two that's called an eighth note what a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts one two three four one two three four and what I think really matches the pulse of the tune is a down up up down up up down up down up 16th note strum pattern and what I mean by that is if you take the G and do it down on one and up on four, you'd have kind of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, 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 down. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you do it up on two, down on three. So we've got one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the third beat, you do it up on two, up on four. So we've got one, two, three, four. First finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, third finger on the A string third fret. And if you show them the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and sounds really happy. Now you may 
also do, I'm lifting off the first finger, you can add a C major 7, or you can add in the pinky on the B string 3rd for C major 9, and that stays some finger rounded. Or another way to play C major 9 is to do first finger on the D 2nd, 2nd finger on the A 3rd, 3rd finger on the B 3rd, pinky on the high E 3rd, and kind of work it that way. And you'll kind of hear a really similar uh, lick actually around the, the C actually kind of working 2nd on the A string. So it's almost like we're just shifting strings with our leg. So you kind of dig on that. So all the way through the verse, that way you'd have the G. on the G major, and if you're doing an A down count actually, from the G we end up going to an A minor, it's almost like a halfing I do, we'll, we'll talk more about that in a moment. But the way you play A minor, first finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the G second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, it sounds really sad. Now with round A minors in general, you may want to think about lifting off the first finger, making that an A sus 2 you could add in the pinky on the B third for the A suspended chord and kind of say some things around it. Or you could lift off the third finger for an A minor 7. Or you could put the pinky in on the high E third for an A minor 7. Or what could be a lot of fun too is working in A7 sus. Where you do first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. So it's slightly more unresolved. But that might be kind of a cool way to work that. And on the G and the A minor, it almost kind of halves the measure. You may want to do it as kind of a four down count on each chord. Or if you might even kind of dig on the 3 plus 5 idea, kind of G, 2, 3, A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or if you're doing the down, down, up, up, down, you may want to try just the down, down, up on each of those chords. Or we can even split the pattern. This is a little weird. You can do the G with the down, down, and then hit the A for the up, up, down. That's the strum pattern. G, down, down, up, up, down. And then we go to an E minor chord. And normally you do this first finger on the A second second finger on the D second, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, it sounds really sad. And we also dig on putting the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of working that thing. From the E minor, we'd be going to a C major chord. At the very, very end. We end up repeating that twice, then, you, then we, the A minor gets left out twice, and then we go back to our A minor twice. So we try that with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we have a G.
crazy. That's, that's just what it sounds like, y'all. So I just thought I'd do that. That's, that's something to practice, right? Um, and then from there, then we go back into our verse idea. Now, one other thing you may want to think about playing around with is bass notes through the song. And actually, we, we talked a lot about that main lick um, on the G and the C chord. But you could even just abbreviate it and make it a bass down, up, up, down, up. So G, you have the low E for the bass. chorus so we tried the chorus with, with the bass down up up down up the weird part is the splitting part you may want to wear the G A minor is kind of a bass and down A minor up, up down up or you could just do a bass down up on each of those chords if you kind of know what that is so to have the G Of how you get strung through Geronimo by Shepard. So good luck.